Councilor O'Donnell. Here. Councilor Scherer. Here. Councilor Nash. Here. Um, so first order of business is to approve the minutes of all the work we did on May 8, 2017. Approval. Second. Any discussion on minutes? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Good. All right, now of our four items, two of them are still at other committees. But I understand 17.288, an ordinance relative to on-street parking meter zones, uh, Bedford Terrace and Strong Avenue, uh, did come back with a positive recommendation from the Committee on Transportation and Parking. So we can take that one up. Being that Councilor O'Donnell is the chair of that August body, you can fill us in on what happened there. Thank you. It's nice to get some respect for once. The August <laughs> body. <laughs> You're the chairman of an august body, not just a committee uh, or a commission. Of it's actually a commission, right? <laughs> it is a commission. commission. However, an august commission. However, I would refer, I would defer to the even more august <laughs> Councilor Shara because <laughs> she, this is her. She wrote the ordinance, uh, she's and the this sponsor. is this is your ward, right? Is uh, that, one oh, is that of the two are. Uh, one of the two streets referenced are my ward. Is is in your ward? Um, and yeah, I'm also part of the August body we keep referring to. Okay, so I was looking into Bedford Terrace. That it's got long-term parking meters. Uh, I think there are 21 of them. That's all the parking on Bedford Terrace. Long-term, those red-topped meters, 10-hour meters. Um, for a constituent, I was looking into the ordinance, and I noticed that Bedford Terrace. Um, and then additionally, strong at a put some part of Strong Avenue are the only two long sections of long term parking meters that are classified as only 3D and not 4A. 3D refers to the long term parking meters, 4A refers to the, um, the permit that's issued by the parking department that allows you to park at a long term meter without seating a meter. Mm -hmm. It's a $45 permit, yeah. you buy them monthly. Um, and I spoke to the department head and she had, could think of no reason as to why those two, um, the, those, the section of Strong Avenue and all of Bedford Terrace um, would be Class D and not 4A. So why they would exclude the permit. Exactly. Yeah. Um, so we believe it's an oversight, as happens sometimes. So um, this ordinance all it does is add the Class 4A classification to Bedford Terrace and that part of Strong Avenue so that those meters so can... So the, the meters stay the same, the time of the meter stays the same, but it's legitimate to use a permit. Exactly. And in practice, we also, she checked with um, all of the parking tenants, and everyone treats those meters the same as every other meter. So well, in know, practice, people have been using the permits without a problem. Yeah. It's just... I know Bedford, that's really the only parking for several large residential buildings there. So you have an apartment, but the only source for parking is those long-term meters. So exactly. I think they do get one and leave the car there for quite a while. They do. I mean, that 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 has nothing to do with this ordinance, but um, the reason I was looking into it is that there is no overnight parking on Bedford, which is uh, a complaint I was hearing. So that's what led me down the road to discover this. Which so I think you think the road may continue at some point? Um, I don't know. I, I think there, there are people who would who may like to continue down that road. We yeah. will see. Yeah. But Let's for right now, this is our stop sign at this road to just get this codified in the way that it should be, and it is in practice. All right. And and then the Strong Avenue ones, uh, some of those they do use permits on, don't they? Or none of them on Strong Avenue? Um, people may. I mean, again, there's nothing that indicate. There's no way unless you looked in the code to know that these two bits of these few meters. Ten hour meters. Ten hour meter, meters. So all the ones on Bedford, and then on Strong Avenue, it's like across from Pole Street. There are a few of them, not that maybe twelve yeah. or so. There'd be no way to know. They're kind of like near that wall where there's not. They're not in front of anything. Exactly. They're just. They're they have that retaining wall. The retaining the wall train and up above the Union Station. Yeah. You would never. If you had a long-term parking permit, you would never know that you weren't supposed to use it there. And if you did use it there, it was recognized and it was all fine. So, um, so nothing changes with that. Okay. So, are there any places in town where we have long-term parking and we don't allow the the permit? Uh, if this passes. 
there will be no, and these then, corrects all. And then it cancels okay. then, then every single long term 10 hour meter will um, accept the permit. Okay. So, all right. Sounds like a, a good dose of consistency. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, okay. yeah. Any positive recommendation? Actually, we discussed this without actually a motion, didn't we? Mm -hmm. And did the other member of the August body second that? I think so. I, yes. I think I so. Any more discussion? Since we did it all before we had a motion. <laughs> on all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Good. And then uh, we quickly do traffic. This is 17.301, uh, an ordinance uh, providing that the code of ordinances be amended are revising uh, chapter 312 uh, 110 providing that 312 110 schedule of off street parking areas uh, da, 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 da. i'll just read the the areas affected because the rest of it doesn't make much sense uh, locations be between kirkland avenue and hamden avenue uh, we're going to take them from two hour class 1b to three hour class 1f on the easterly side of Masonic Street, uh, that's the parking lot. They're going to go from two hour 1Bs to three hour 1Fs. And the northeast side of Merrick Lane in front of uh, the Hall of Records, there are eight parking spaces there that face the Hall of Records. They'd go from one hour class 1A to two hour class 1B. I move with positive recommendation this one, please. And second. We'll do this one right. And this comes from the mayor. I think it's, it obviously takes these three off street parking lots and extends them by an hour. How long can park there? And I think it fits with what we did previously on Main Street as part of downtown parking changes. Mm -hmm. um, oh, these got omitted when we did the on street? I think for whatever reason, the mayor has been, I, I, I don't want to speak for my thing, his plan is to roll them out separately I don't know if more are coming after this or not mm -hmm. but yeah I think it's for the same general purpose of um, implementing some of the recommendations of the parking study mm -hmm. um, the only amendment I would offer I'll offer it formally I, I move that we amend um, the word Kirkland Avenue um, and in the parking area column to be the Armory Street parking lot because that's the armory lot that's the lot itself it's that's the, what it should be the, yeah because it's, yeah, it's not on street yeah so between Kirkland Avenue and Hamden Avenue just call it the armory street parking lot yeah so it should say armory street park or could you say armory lot and then location between Kirkland Avenue and Hampton Avenue Which we have a second for that amendment <coughs> second any discussion on the amendment all in favor aye, aye. Okay, then so. to the amended uh, ordinance change. Any more discussion? Okay, um, so Merrick, so the first two are lots. Merrick Lane, is that a, like a it's, on Yeah, the side it's like there's the Merrick Lane, and then you pull off in into parking spaces that face the Hall of Records. Oh. So you're off the street. It's not like a lot, it's just a long string of parking spaces that oh. you drive into head first. And they, I think they used to be an hour because everybody figured it's lawyers running into the Hall of Records right. to record a document and they come and go all the time. But it's also people, yeah. you know, going to divorce court that maybe they're a little longer than that because right. they're upstairs. So um, I think that's how it wound up an hour is they figured it was just lawyers running in and out of the Hall of Records. But yeah. it really should match downtown and not, yeah. you know, what lawyers are doing. Okay. Exactly. So if we're good on this one, all in favor of a positive recommendation? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Um, any other business that we did not anticipate? Can I just ask uh, for an update about the taxi ordinance in the Council Sheriff's Committee? Because I haven't heard much about that from the solicitor. Um, I think it's we held it because we were waiting to get back from the solicitor. Oh, okay. Um, and also the clerk, Pam, or just? Yeah, I, I, uh, I don't think she's really got the time or the inclination to, to respond to the inquiry that we sent to her. Um, 
but definitely the uh, the city solicitor had some problems with the way that it was. He, he was having problems reading the flow of the document with all of the redlined changes. Okay. So I ended up sending him uh, just a document, what it looks like, without any changes at all. And I, I mean, not with the changes incorporated, but no red lines. Okay. So, so that's what he's looking at right now. He's just had a lot of, you know, pressing matters on his plate that he hasn't had the opportunity to look at it. So, okay. um, I would suggest I did tell him that we were meeting today, and that because I talked to him last Thursday, and uh, you know, I didn't mention that community resources was meeting the following weeks. So maybe if you, you know, if you could put a bug in his ear that we're coming up on the 90 sure. day time limit that okay. the mm -hmm. committee has to. Time to start reading. Has to look at mm -hmm. it, so. So you may, I mean, you may end up bringing it back without hearing from the clerk if it's unlikely we're going to hear from the clerk. Sounds like that could be the case. That might be the option. Okay. We can try and think like clerks. Good, thank you. Answer your question? Yeah. yeah, thank you. Okay. Any other uh, unanticipated business? Hearing none. Well, Council? Oh, oh, why sorry. No, that's fine. We can adjourn. I was going to get Councilor Nash to move to adjourn since he hasn't made any motions today. I'll make a move to the motion to adjourn. See, now we're inclusive. <laughs> Second.